A bank robber wanted for one of the biggest heists in Cleveland's history has been identified as a man from Massachusetts. U.S. Marshals say after 52 years of searching, they have now solved that mystery. And they believe the suspect was on the run for decades, ultimately settling down in Massachusetts. WBZ's Paula Eben joins us live in studio. And Paula, this story is fascinating. Lisa, it's an incredible bank caper worthy of a film itself because the suspect was apparently inspired by a blockbuster movie shot in the Boston area. Investigators say 20-year-old Theodore Ted Conrad was a bank employee, a teller, in Cleveland in 1968. He disappeared after walking out of the bank with a paper bag containing $215,000. Conrad was obsessed with the Thomas Crown Affair, the 1960 68 film about a bank executive pulling off a bank robbery. Conrad began dressing like the film's star, Steve McQueen, changed his name to Thomas Randall and moved to Linfield, near where the movie was shot. Investigators were able to match documents that Conrad completed in the 1960s with Randall's bankruptcy filing in 2014. Randall married in 1982, had a daughter and blended right into the Linfield community. From what I know about him and what I learned, he was a great family man. He was friends with the police in those areas. Um, and from my understanding, uh, even friends with uh, federal agents in that area. So nobody knew his true identity. He was li literally the man living next door who nobody really knew. So investigators say he made a deathbed confession to his family last May. Another interesting wrinkle to this story, U.S. Marshal Pete Elliott, who you saw there, has a unique tie to the case. His own dad was a deputy marshal who began investigating Ted Conrad right after the robbery, and Elliott says he remembers his dad being obsessed with finding Conrad when he was a child. So David and Lisa, now his son, has solved the crime. That really is like a movie. Isn't so that many twists and turns. Let's yeah. get this screenplay Twists going. and turns. <laughs> Paula, thank you so much.